At 13 years old, Richard's parents had deemed him too old to trick-or-treat. So this year, his job was to help pass out the candy. He could still dress up, though, so it wasn't too bad. He'd stash a couple of those candy bars in his pockets, hidden by his Darth Vader costume, for later. He was passing out his dad's favorite candy bars, Reverend Chocolate. His dad always bought his own favorite candy to pass out, so that in case there was any left, he'd have some to pack into his lunches for work. Richard remembered this Halloween, because... Something odd had happened that night. When it was Richard's turn to answer the door, he was surprised to find a frantic, middle-aged man who ran away screaming as soon as the door was opened. And as he shut the door, he could hear the children screaming outside, and within a few minutes, there were police and ambulance sirens just outside of Richard's house. It always Gave him the creeps afterwards. One year later, Richard's home caught on fire while he and his friends were attending a Halloween dance at school. His parents had been home handing out candy. They didn't notice when a jack-o'-lantern had accidentally been knocked over by a little princess. The state placed Richard with his older sister who lived just one town over, and eventually he grew up and married and had children of his own. Then, tragedy struck once more, when on Halloween night, Richard's wife choked to death on a piece of candy. From then on, Richard hated Halloween, and he would have nightmares leading up to the day. He couldn't even take his own kids out trick-or-treating. His sister, always happily, took on that task, this year, Richard's sister had become ill, and she was in the hospital with pneumonia. When Richard went to visit her in the hospital, they began to talk about their mother and father, which Richard hadn't been able to do in years. And they found themselves laughing over old memories, and for the first time in decades, Richard felt as though he was making a breakthrough in his own sorrow. Richard's sister reminded him that their house had been demolished after all these years. They both agreed that it was way past time, and also time for Richard to let go of those memories that were haunting him still. Richard decided that this year, this year, he would face his fears and take his kids trick-or-treating. He drove his own little princess and Batman around this town, and he found that he actually was having fun. Then he decided to muster up the courage to drive to his old neighborhood, but when he arrived, he was sad to see that there was little to no kids trick-or-treating. When he took a left onto the street which he used to live on, he was expecting to see an empty lot, but when he drove by his old house in the now run-down neighborhood that used to be so vibrant, he saw a familiar home, lit from inside with the warm lighting that he remembered so well, and with decorations outdated by today's standards. He was utterly confused and baffled by this, but his kids were begging him loudly to let them go because it was the only street decorated in the neighborhood. As he let them go, he called his sister, who had taken a turn for the worse and was fighting to talk, gasping and coughing. She assured him that she had driven by just two months ago and the home was gone. And as she was saying this, Richard saw a familiar figure answered the door as a nun and handed candy to his kids. Richard dropped the phone as his kids came back to the car. He could hear his sister coughing on the phone as it sat on the floor of the car, but he was ignoring everything as he asked his oldest son, A.J., what the people looked like, and A.J. shrugged as Darla, his daughter, asked about the coughing noises coming from the phone, but Richard was losing his grasp as he yelled, frightening his kids, and he asked them, what candy did the people in that house give you? 
The son, A.J., took out a piece of reverend chocolate, and Richard, knowing that that candy had been discontinued in the 90s, opened the car door as his heart was racing. He ran up to the house, which began to fill more and more familiar the closer he got, and he knocked on the door. And when he did, a young boy dressed as Darth Vader opened the door holding a bowl of candy. Before the boy could say anything, Richard felt his heart explode in his chest and he turned to run back to the car and he slipped off the curb and fell onto the cold asphalt. He had heard the door shut and he can hear his children screaming. And in moments, he heard sirens as he faded out of existence.